Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, um, today is September 11th, 2020, and uh, I'm here with my Double Delight Hybrid Tea Rose. It has two blooms on it. Let's see another one down here. Now, uh, we have our fencing laying there because um, we fence it during the fall and winter times so that the deer don't eat it. But um, the Double Delight Hybrid Tea Rose is um, its highly fragrant. It has a wonderful fragrance to it. Um, I really enjoy the fragrance of it. I've had this bush for probably about, um, I think maybe six years now, I believe it is. Um, it should be larger than this. Uh, um, these get about three to four feet tall and you want to space these about two to three feet apart. And these give about uh, 12 to 18 inch stems that uh, the flowers will be on. Now, um, I absolutely love this variety. I highly recommend it. It's a lovely bicolor. It has um, the yellows in it, like a, a whitish cream color and a beautiful uh, strawberry red coloring in it. You can see how um, the variation is in the petals. Some of it looks like you would have taken like a paintbrush and just kind of etched the sides of the petals some with the strawberry red. Now this was introduced in 1977. So uh, it's one of the older roses even though it is a, a hybrid rose. And uh, these do require special care during the winter time. Um, I'm gardening in Pennsylvania in zone 5B and uh, you do want to mulch your roses if you live in cooler climates. Um, some people what they do is um, they kind of cover their roses with like straw. We have done that already with this one here. Uh, this is for zones 4 to 10. So um, when you're selecting your roses or any of your perennials or plants, you want to make sure that they're for your growing zone so that they can survive um, the winter. Now this did win awards for the All-American Rose Selection winner. And uh, I have shown this rose already many times and um, it did take uh, the best of shows when I did show it. So it's a lovely rose and uh, like I said the fragrance is just, it is a highly fragrant rose. Um, I, when I'm sitting like on the porch or something, the fragrance will actually drift across the porch and uh, you'll have the fruity rose fragrance to it because you can, it just carries in the wind. Now this blooms pretty much all summer. Now you can deadhead this when uh, the blossoms are spent on it to encourage more um, rose buds on it. And uh, your roses are heavy feeders. Now this one does have a lot of dead stuff that needs to be cut out of it. So um, we'll have to get rid of that off of it. It was very dry this year for us. So um, you want to make sure that your spot where you're picking to grow your roses at is well drained soil. And if you have heavy clay soils like we have, you want to add like a lot of compost in with it. So, um, you know, to help break your soil down so it's not so heavy. And now this can take full sun to partial shade. And Japanese beetles do eat this a lot. So um, if you have Japanese beetles around, they're probably going to be eating your roses. Um, we do have videos uh, on our channel for how we do Japanese beetle traps, but um, the Japanese beetles aren't out right now So we got these beautiful roses here And you can see the other one down here. I mean the, these are perfect now during the summertime um, The Japanese beetles were eating them so you're getting holes in the leaves that in the leaves and in the petals and it's a shame because it's such a beautiful rose and uh, I did try and cover them already, but um, the Japanese beetles ate through the covering. And uh, I tried to cover them one time so that the deer wouldn't eat them with like a, 
a type of cloth and uh, the deer actually ate the cloth and the rosebud so um, you do have to watch your roses with uh, certain pests now I do have chives around this rose to uh, help repel aphids and to keep them away so uh, this is one of my favorite roses to grow and uh, this is available as a bare root rose I don't know if I've ever seen it in a store um, like in a container where you could buy it and then transplant it but um, we have like small garden centers and nurseries where I'm at so they might not have gotten it in now uh, the double delight hybrid tea rose is a grafted rose um, I'm not sure if you can find it as an own root rose um, I did do a video on my channel between own root roses and grafted roses and um, you can check that out on there but uh, I I'm not sure if you can get this as an own root rose. I think it's only available as a grafted rose. And um, like I said, if you're in a cold climate, you definitely want to protect that um, that graft so that it doesn't die out over the winter time and you lose your rose then. And uh, I do have two of these rose bushes. So, um, you know, I've gotten to see how they grow and how they bloom and um, hybrid tea roses are extra work and like I said earlier they are heavy feeders but um, when they bloom they are gorgeous Now, um, these are a great cutting flower uh, if you want a flower that you can cut to uh, take it in your house. Now, um, your tighter blooms, like when they're first opening, they will last longer than um, when they're open more. And uh, you want to cut them early in the morning. And um, you want to make sure that the plant is well hydrated before you do any of your cut flowers. Um, And uh, you want to make sure that you're using clean, sharp, sterilized pruners. I take alcohol over my pruners and let it dry before I uh, cut my flowers. Just to make sure that they're clean. Because um, you don't want to like transfer um, any plant viruses or diseases back and forth um, between your plants. So it's just really good to uh, sterilize your uh, pruners before you use them to um, cut your flowers with. Now roses can get what they call black spot and uh, there are some different pests and uh, diseases that can attack them. And um, whatever uh, container or vase you choose to um, put your rose cuttings in or any of your cut flowers you want to make sure that it's clean and uh, it's been cleaned since the last time that you used it so it doesn't have any uh, bacteria in it from previous usage that will um, deteriorate the flowers faster when you put them in. So if you like my video please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll try as I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!